In this tutorial, we will discuss proper line level settings when connecting speakers to an audio interface. How to properly set the gain between the attenuation controller and the speaker power amp to achieve the best signal to noise ratio, get the best dynamic range from the D to A converter, and reduce the possibility of damaging your speakers as a result of an accidental overload. We will demonstrate with quartet, however the same will apply to duet and symphony as well. It is very important to match the output of your audio interface to the input of your amp or powered speakers. If your powered speakers or amp have only unbalanced minus 10 inputs, like an RCA style or a TS quarter inch input, change the outputs of your audio interface to minus 10 in the Maestro software. Also make sure you have cables that are properly wired to go from a balanced output to an unbalanced input. If your speakers or amp are balanced plus four, make sure the outputs of the interface are set to plus four. Now with the power amp or speakers turned completely down, turn the attenuation controller of your audio interface all the way up to zero. Play music from either iTunes or your audio application. Begin to slowly turn up the amp to a level a bit louder than the highest level you would ever monitor or mix at. Now just bring back the attenuation controller to a comfortable listening level.